Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will do a question and answer again. And our topic will be gas well performance. All right, so we have a gas reservoir, we have gas well, and we want to talk about that. So this is our case. We have PVT properties of a gas sample taken from a dry gas reservoir. And this is our PVT table. As you can see, we have pressure and we have gas viscosity in centipoise. And this is the Z factor. This is, of course, the pseudo pressure in PSI squared per foot. And this is the gas formation volume factor in barrel per standard cubic foot. Okay. And we have also the properties of the reservoir. So the well is currently producing under pseudo steady state flow regime. And this is the reservoir pressure, 4,150 PSI. And our flowing bottom hole pressure is 3,050 PSI with reservoir permeability of 60 millidarcies. For example, if you have log data or permeability derived from pressure transient analysis. And let's say this is the number and also the net pay thickness of 20 feet, drainage radius of 1000 feet and well bore radius of 0 0.25 feet with skin factor of one and temperature in rain kind of 600. All right, and we need to calculate the gas flow rate, okay? In million standard cubic feet per day or thousand standard cubic feet per day, okay? If I type in MSCFD, it means thousand standard cubic feet per day, all right? So this is our case and now we will solve the problem. Again, this is the table and this is the data. So let's do the calculation. First, we need to use this equation. Why? Because our reservoir pressure, our average reservoir pressure is 4150 with flowing bottom hole pressure of 3050 PSI, which are greater than 3000 PSI. And in this situation, in this condition, we can use this equation to predict the gas flow rate. So as you can see, above 3000 PSI, we will use pressure term to calculate the gas flow rate. Okay, below 2000 PSI, we will have pressure squared term. Okay, so our condition, we have high pressure, so we can use this formula. Okay, this is important. Okay, and then from here, we need to calculate the average pressure using this equation, this simplistic, simple equation. So the average reservoir pressure or the average pressure is the summation of the reservoir pressure, average reservoir pressure, and the flowing bottom hole pressure divided by two. So let's do the calculation. Reservoir pressure plus the flowing bottom hole pressure divided by two. Okay, so the average pressure is 3,600 PSI. So let's check at the table. So this is the information at the average pressure. So we can type in here, average pressure. All right, okay. Okay, and then we continue. Now we need to calculate the gas properties at the average pressure. So let us check the gas formation volume factor equals this one at average pressure. Very simple. So we enter. This is the gas formation volume factor at the average pressure. Okay, and then we continue. Now the gas viscosity, let's do the same thing. Equal, drop it here, 
the gas viscosity at the average pressure. Enter. Right, so we have 0 0.025 centipoise, the gas viscosity at average pressure. Now, let's do the calculation to predict the gas flow rate. So we will use this equation. So let's do the calculation. This is in 1,000 standard cubic feet per day. So we can correct it. All right. Equal 7.08 E minus 6. Okay, so this is the code to type in this one. 7.08 multiplied by 10 powered by minus 6. So we can type in like this way. Multiplied by the permeability of 60 milliDarcy's. And then, as you can see in this formula, multiplied by net pay thickness. Okay, so be careful here. We will use net pay thickness rather than gross reservoir thickness or gross rock thickness or gross sand thickness. All right. And then multiply it by open parenthesis, average reservoir pressure. 4,150 minus the flowing bottom hole pressure of 3,050 PSI. Close. And then to make sure, I will put them all inside the parenthesis. Divided by, open parenthesis, open again. The gas properties evaluated at average pressure. So we will use this viscosity, this one, multiply it by the gas formation volume factor at average pressure, which is, right, which is here, close, and then go back to the calculation formula, multiply it by, open again, now the logarithmic natural, ln, open parenthesis, the drainage radius, RE, okay, divided by RW, close, minus 0 0.75, plus skin factor. All right, so far so good. Now we will close. Okay, and then close again. Enter. All right. So this is the gas flow rate. So our gas flow rate is 62,953,000 ,000 standard cubic feet per day. And you can make it to be brief mm. So we will divide this number with 1,000. OK. Right click, use this one, decrease decimal. Okay, maybe this one. Use this one. Okay, so our gas flow rate is 63 million standard cubic feet per day. That's the gas flow rate of this well under the dry gas reservoir with the following properties. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.